Andre Rublev versus Felix Auger Aliassime is the final for the Madrid Open for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Auger Aliassime started the tournament unseeded and will take on Nishioka in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 6 4, 6 1, 6 4. In the second round, he take on Manorino, the 19th seed, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 love, 6 4. In the third round, he take on Menzik, who just beaten the number 9 seed Dimitrov in the previous round. And after winning the first set, Menzik would be forced to retire, giving Felix the win. 6 1, 1 love, retirement. In the fourth Randy take on the number five seed Rude, who is coming off back to back finals and a win in Barcelona. This is no problem for Felix getting through in straights. 6 4 7 5 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Ojeli Asim was supposed to play Sinner, the number one seed, who had just battled past Hashinov in the fourth round. But unfortunately, Sinner was carrying a hip injury and would be forced to pull out of the tournament, handing Felix a walkover into the semifinals. In the semifinals, Ojeli Asim would play Lehechka, the number 30 seed, who had taken out Rafa and Medvedev along the way. But at 3 0 in the first set, Lehechka had a back injury, forcing him to retire, allowing Felix to get to the final. Rublev entered the tournament as the number seven seed, and we'll get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on the qualifier Bagnus. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 4. Third round, he take on the 27th seed for Kina, and after a very close first set, would win in straights. 7 6 6 4. In the fourth round, he take on the 24th seed Grigspor, who had just taken out Runa in the previous round. And again, no problem for Rublev getting through in straights. 6 2 6 4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rublev will take on the number two seed and two time defending champion Carlos Alcaraz. We'd only ever lost one match in Madrid, and that was to Rafa Nadal. And after dropping the first set, Rublev would fight back to win 4 6 6 3 6 2 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Rublev would take on Fritz, the number 12 seed, who had taken out her catch and Sarundalo along the way. And after a close first set, Rublev would win in straights 6 4 6 3 to advance to the final. These two guys have played five times before, with Rublev leading 4 1 in the head to head, including a clay court match back in 2018 in Umag, where Rublev got the win there. But Rublev has won their last two matches, including a very close match in their previous match in in February in, in Rotterdam. So Felix has had a chance recently and every time they've played, they've played at least one tie break. So expect a tie break in this one and also expect it to be pretty close. If FIA is going to win this one, he does a serve well and he needs to be aggressive against Rublev. Rublev was so good against Fritz being able to sort of absorb the aggression from him and then bring it back with some aggression of his own. So FIA is going to have to serve well and bring the fight straight away. If Rublev is going to win this one, he needs to keep his head. He was so cool and calm against Alcaraz throughout the entire match and against Fritz as well. It was very cool, calm and collected. He needs to do that. He is the favorite in this final. We're all expecting him to win this big title. We can't have another thing like what happened in Shanghai. Really interesting final. Really fun final. FAA he will be back in the top 20 next week. Rublev just starting to get good at the right time. I have to go with Rublev in this one. I feel like the experience of being in these big finals, especially winning Monte Carlo last year, and then the Shanghai final, even though it was devastatingly lost, I think that Rublev will get the win in this one in three, but let me know down in the comments below who's taking the title.